Hi guys, it's Andrew here from Stonemaker today, and I am over here. I'm uh, we're making some stones. Um, we have had a lot of different questions on this. Um, if you're following along you're in the Stonemaker YouTube channel, the Stonemaker Facebook page, Stonemaker has been in business for about 15 years or so. Um, I bought Stonemaker about a year and a half, two years ago. What I do is I'm a manufacturer of high quality firewood equipment. We're the premier brand for log splitters, firewood processors, conveyor systems. I took on Stonemaker about a year and a half, two years ago for something new to try out. Um, we're finally at the point now where we're going to try and market this and push this a little bit more. Um, what Stonemaker is, is it's a, a rudimentary block making machine. It's sort of like, think of it as a, a portable sawmill for a hardscaper or a concrete company. Um, we can custom make molds to make whatever kind of stone, whatever kind of block you want with these. This is a, this is a pattern here. I think it's 12 by 12 by 18. It'll match up to uh, these ones over here. Um, and then we have, like I said, we have all sorts of different, different configurations. The nice thing about this plant is it's one very, very inexpensive to buy this compared to a, an actual uh, <laughs> a block factory. It's, it's about a, a 16th of the price um and we have the, the ability to make just about anything with one of these machines like here's here's a good example this is a a block wall we sheared the face of them here's some interlocking blocks over here um there's no uh, mortar joint in between them they lock together um like there's all sorts of different things we can produce with one machine it's just a matter of buying the mold for it it's very Again, very basic, very, very simple. Um, a couple of questions we have got from a lot of people um, is one, the mix. Um, it's very, <laughs> now that we've done some research, we've learned a lot, it's very simple. It's a, uh, there's an ATSM standard for, for uh, uh, blocks. It's for concrete, it's very, very simple. And most aggregate suppliers in your area should be able to mix it up for you. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. It's, it's really actually, uh, a lot simpler process than what you think and then we add a little bit of add mixture in with it to uh to the mix it's very inexpensive it's about uh, i think we're five cents a mix ten cents a mix of what it costs the add mixture saves you a pile of pile of water and makes the uh the the uh dry concrete um flow into the mold a whole lot better so it's really really uh yeah that's simple guys it's pretty basic um, another question we get to, and another comment I've gotten a lot the last last little bit doing this, posting to different groups, is about the drying process of this. Guys, this is concrete. It's, it's the same as any other concrete. Like, a great big block factory, yeah, you know what? They're going to have kilns. They're going to have ovens to dry this stuff out. They're going to have humidity, climate-controlled rooms to, to dry this stuff in. Um, you don't need that, guys. It's, again, this is a lot of lumber. It's, it's no different than any other concrete. 28 days it's fully cured normally the next couple of days you can handle it palletize it whatever um but it's 28 days blocks are fully cured um they're the same as same strength same density same everything as what you're going to get or what you're going to buy um and again it depends on on your aggregate your concrete stuff like that. if you're familiar with making concrete you're you're already aware of this um but again it's we can give you guidelines that you're really close. You might need to tweak it a little bit on your end to make sure that it's perfect and right for you and your customers you're selling these to. Here's the next step of this. There's lots of people that say, oh, this is a complete and total waste of time. You'll never make money at that. Well, you can build these things or you can make these blocks. That's a huge margin on these things. That's incredible. I don't know if they're going to buy another piece of equipment for what one of these things cost it's going to give you a return on your money like that guys and this is a job that you can have your guys doing uh throughout the winter you can have a a couple of guys it's a very basic machine to run you don't need to be a rocket scientist to run one of these things it's very basic very simple um again guys the the profit margin on on these blocks is is staggering compared to what you're going to buy these for um you can color these so you just get a a powdered color for them. Color costs a little bit more money to do it. I'd imagine you're going to do it on a high level or on a scale. You're going to buy this stuff a whole lot cheaper than, than buying a bag or two at a time sort of thing. So again, guys, you can color these whatever color you want, whatever shade you want. 
It, again, it's very simple. You're gonna add so much to, to each mix and it's gonna get you really close um, to what you want on that end of it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll run this machine. We'll run this machine, I'll show you how it works. I'll run some of these blocks through for you. Um, we've already done it, so it'll be what we just did. And then I'll come back to you and we'll, we'll talk about it some more. So as you can see guys, it works really well. It's very, very simple, very intuitive. It's anybody can run this thing and make nice blocks out of it. As long as you can follow a recipe, a formula, um, very simple, very basic. And again, guys, um, you're gonna make good money doing this. You, you, you really are. It's uh, Again, it's, it's one of those things that if you wanna get into this, you're gonna be into millions of dollars for this, for this machine here, I think depending on the mold you're gonna be between 60 and 70 thousand Canadian dollars so 45 to 55 thousand American dollars for this we can do it with either a uh, a diesel power pack right now we're using a uh, uh, electric one so you'd have to have a building that has power or run a phase converter to do it again very simple stuff to do guys it's like a 15 horse motor on it so as long as you have the amperage in your building you should be able to do it um, yeah Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this thing. Like I said, uh, this is the first time I've posted to the Stonemaker accounts myself, the YouTube account, the uh, the Facebook account. I do this quite a bit with my other business. If you check out East to Made Wood Splitters, that's what I, that's my other business. Like I said, we're known for building quality equipment. If you buy one of these machines from us, it's going to be a quality built piece of equipment. It's going to be what you're expecting. Um, I mean, the services apart from us is going to be going to be second to none. 
Um, anyways, guys, like I said, give her a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care.